You want to solve more hard Sudoku puzzles? I will show you a proven yet popular strategy that you can use to solve this hard Sudoku from my latest puzzle pack. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. Look here in block four. Where can a three go? Because of this three and these two threes, there's only one place for a three in block four. So we can mark that as a three. Greetings, friend. I'm sharing puzzle one from my June reward puzzle pack with you. Each puzzle is named after a song from the Coldplay album X and Y. It came out in June of 2005. I'll explain later why this cell is purple. All you need to know is that's a normal cell for now. More importantly, I will show you the proven strategy in this puzzle that will help you solve hard Sudoku. First, though, you do need to find more restrictions in this puzzle. Look in block eight. You might notice that the one cuts across row seven. There's only two places for a one in block eight. So I'm going to use what's called Snyder notation. Anytime in a three by three block, you have two possibilities for can it, you mark it. In case you solve one of these cells, you can solve the other right away for a one. These ones also act as a pointing pair. Since the ones in block eight are restricted to row eight, a one cannot be anywhere else in row eight outside the block. You put a one in one of these spots, you have no place to put a one in block eight, which means that there's only two places for a one in block nine, because you have this one here and these pointing pair of ones. Look in block five, where can the twos go? You have this two and this two, Ladder two is right here. And then with the threes, uh, we did solve one three, but if you want to look, you might notice here up in block three with these two threes and this three. Snyder threes in block three. And then in block eight with this three, you have Snyder threes right there. Okay, for the fours. With these three fours, Snyder fours in block one. And with these. Fours, you got Snyder fours in block five. Okay, I'm we'll gonna give you a bonus strategy here. Just look at the fives. You might notice you have a five coming down column four. So it limits the fives of these two spots in block eight. When you ever see this situation, you see the threes and fives in the same two spots, you have found a hidden pair. I call it Snyder on top of each other. And so what you can do is you can remove any other value from these two cells because the three and a five can only be in these two cells in block eight and since you see this one as an extra marking we know one can't be there if you put a one right there we run out of room for the three and the five you can already displace that snyder one and solve this cell for a one and since these two are three five that cell has to be a seven and then if you go up column four you got a one two three four five six seven all we need is an eight and nine you have an eight right here so the eight can only go right here and the nine can go right there. All that because you found that this was a hidden pair. And we can do a little bit more solving with that. You might notice now with the fives in these two spots in this five, fives are limited to these two spots in block five. It's not on top of each other. It's a hidden pair two five, which limits us to a one six naked pair to finish column six. And an eight nine naked pair is uh, block two up here and then you have a one four seven naked triple i'm going to mark all these because our proven strategy does require some center marking for you to find it it's going to help us too as we go along with these solves okay we did a lot of great solving there let's look now and continue with the fives we got this five and this five, so we can put Snyder fives in block six. No other Snyder marks we can make with the fives right now. Looking at the sixes, we can make some more solves here. With these two sixes, you can solve for a six in block four. And with these two sixes in this six, solve in block seven. And with these two sixes in this six, you can solve for a six right here. Disambiguating the one six in block two. Took care of all the sixes. Those hidden pairs really unlocked a few more solves for you. And will help you get to where you need the proven strategy. How about the sevens? Both this seven right here. Solve this cell for a seven. Solve for one displacing. And then we can disambiguate the four and the seven of that naked triple. Okay. And then what else can we do with these sevens? Well, with this seven and these two sevens, 
Snyder 7s in block 1, and with these two 7s, and the 7 Snyder 7s in block 9. How about the 8s? We can make a solve here if you look in block 6. These two 8s, only place left for an 8 right there, displacing that Snyder 5. So we have a, another solve. And now this 5 is going to allow you to disambiguate the 2 5 right there. And since we have eight digits filled out, this is a full house. We know a certainty you can solve this cell. The only digit that don't see in row five is a nine. And now you can look and see with this eight and these two eights, you can solve for an eight here in block nine, displacing that Snyder one, displacing that Snyder seven. Okay, and with these two eights, you can put Snyder eights up here in block three. With these fives and this five, we can put Snyder fives right there as well. And you might notice you have this four and the four coming down, you can solve for four in block nine. So you, as much solving as you can get, you do wanna put that on the grid. Always wanna look and see what did my solves just give me. When you look at that, you'll see that you're gonna be able to make many more solves in the puzzle before you get to where the proven strategy and where you really might get stuck is. And now I'm gonna explain the significance of this colored cell. Okay, by the rules in the puzzle, uh, you're doing normal Sudoku rules. Row one, column one of puzzle five, this is puzzle one. Puzzle five in the puzzle pack is one of the values of row one, column one of puzzles one through four. It's the only value that makes a valid Sudoku. And so what I did here with the puzzle pack is I colored the cell. And so when you solve this puzzle and you get the value for this cell right here, which I'm about to show you what the value is, then you're going to plug it into puzzle five if you had the rest of the pack. And if it makes a valid puzzle and you're able to solve it, then that is the correct solution uh, that you for puzzle five. You give me that digit. If it doesn't work for puzzle one, you got to go to puzzles two, three, and four. Each of them have a different digit that goes here, row one, column one, and apply those. Uh, so let's see if we can solve this cell right now. But you might notice with this one and this one, you only have two places for a one in block three, and it's a pointing pair of ones, all right? The ones are limited in row one in block three. They can't be uh, in any other row. So no more ones outside of this row. So what could this cell be now? Well, it can't be a one anymore because of the pointing pair of ones. It can't be a two, three, four, five, six, seven, or an eight. They all look at this cell. You can solve this cell for a nine okay and with these two ones you can put nine ones here in block one you are so close to getting to the proven strategy each puzzle in this pack can be solved using the same strategy i'm about to show you the second smarty party member who completed this month's pack said it was super fun and pretty hard you'll be getting a shout on my last video of the month if you want to improve your sudoku skills by solving theme puzzles like this, do something each month that's fun and get a shout out on one of my videos, then click on the pinned comment and join the Smarty Party today. I will send you this pack if you do. Okay, now let's look where we can solve next. You have six digits filled out in column nine. You need a one, two, and a nine. I'm gonna use my neat naked triple trick to show you that a nine and a two look at this cell and then nine repeats into this cell. Whenever you have that situation, we can solve all three. We know this cell has to be a one. The only place the nine goes is right there in the column, and this is going to be your two. I'll remove that one marking, and then we can see with this four, you're going to solve for a four right here and a one right there, which will leave us with a two, three naked pair in block nine. Okay, let's look down here in row nine. We have six digits filled out, a two, five, a one, two, Five, six, eight, nine. We need three, four, seven. Let's do that neat naked triple trick again. Three and seven in this column, three repeated. We can solve all three. This has to be your four. The only place that three can go is right there, and this is going to be your seven. And now with these two sevens, we can displace that Snyder seven and solve for seven right here. And with these two fours, we can displace the Snyder four and solve for a four right there. And then you may notice with these two eights, we can put Snyder 8s right here. And then with the 9s, with this 9, we can put Snyder 9s right there. With this 1, Snyder 1s right here. 
And in block seven with this nine, you can put Snyder nines right here. Last place for some Snyder marks with this nine and the nine that we solved is right here. And so this is as far as you'd get with Snyder notation. But we need to do a little bit more marking if you want to find the popular, powerful, proven strategy I've been talking about. Let's look at row three here. You have a three, four, five, six, seven. We need a one, two, eight, nine. It's going to be a one or a two. It's going to be a one, two, or an eight. And this cell, I do see in one and an eight, so I can only be a two or a nine. All right, once you create some BVCs, you got to get excited. We're getting close to advanced strategy. Look in row two. We have a one, three, four, six, seven. You need a two, five, eight, nine. Okay, you got a two and a five right there. You have a five and a nine, so you got a two and an eight right here. Another BVC, and you already have an eight, so this is going to be a two, five, nine. All right, there's actually two ways to look at this proven strategy. The way I saw it is right here. You want to notice you have a BVC, two and an eight. It sees another buy buy sale that shares one of the candidates. It shares an eight, nine right there in the row. And it sees another one within the block that shares a different candidate. So it shares the twos here, and the eights are shared there. Okay, when you ever have this situation, you have all three paired possibilities of the digits 2, 8, 9. A 2, 8 here, 2, 9 there, and an 8, 9 right there. One of the cells, the 2, 8, sees the other two. And so you know if this is a 2, then this cell has to be a 9. If this cell is an 8, this cell has to be a 9. So no matter what value the orange cell is, one of these blues is going to be a 9. So you can eliminate a 9 from any cell that sees both of those blues. So you can eliminate a 9 from right here, and you can eliminate a 9 from right there. This is called Sudoku XY Wing. It's proven popular strategy you'll find time again in hard Sudoku puzzles. Also got it from the name of the Coldplay album. It's called X and Y. So we're not done. I just showed you the proven strategy that you're going to need, and now we need to see what you can do to solve the rest of the puzzle. But if you want to learn more about XY wings, check out this tutorial. Because this cell right here can only be an 8 now, which means that has to be a 9. And then since we got rid of the 9 here, you know this cell has to be your 9 right here. And then we can get rid of the 8 in this cell, just placing that Snyder 8 up here. And with these 1, 2s, you know this is going to have to be a 5. I uh, need to disambiguate the 2 and the 8 right here. Let's get rid of these colors and see what else you can do with your solving. All right. We displace the Snyder 5 in the block. So that's got to be your 5 displacing the Snyder 3. Now we can disambiguate the 2, 3 here in block 9. So what we're doing is we're calling following the Snyder and also sweeping the blocks. This is how the experts finish a good puzzle. This has to be a 5 and that has to be your 3. 8. Eight digits across row seven. So I know that's going to only be a two. Disambiguate in the one and two here. Get rid of all the marks as much as possible. And so you have a cleaner grid to do your solving. Displace that one. That's got to be a one right there. Okay. And then with this two, I don't see a two in block four. So that's got to be a two. Displacing that Snyder nine. Displacing the Snyder nine right here. And then we can solve our last cell for a five. See if you can spot the XY wing in this next video. Thank you so much for watching.